Hi, I'm Magician Rich Ferguson, and today I'm going to share with you how to make a magical health drink that will transform your life. They say the first 40 years of your life, your body takes care of you, and the second 40 years of your life, you take care of your body. So using a little bit of magic, let's see how we can make this magical drink. I make myself a health drink every day. And the coolest thing about this drink is it's full of vegetables. It doesn't have a whole bunch of sugar water, preservatives, and a whole bunch of other junk that your body doesn't need. Now check out this experiment. You would think something else would happen here, but that's the magic of this health drink. We'll come in a little closer and I'll show you all the ingredients to make your health shake. So you're going to need to get yourself a small orange. If you have yourself a large orange, you can actually cut off a section and leave it in with the peel. When you have an orange this small, you might want to remove most of the peel because the surface area compared to your fruit is a little different and you don't want your drink to be too frothy. But it is okay to leave a little peel in there because there's a lot of nutrients with the peel. This is just fine. So once again, remove the skin. Get yourself a lime. And do the same thing. Chop about one third of it and throw it into the mix. Just like before, seeds and skin and all. Just throw it in. You don't need too much. The lime is actually just going to counteract the flavors of the strong vegetables that we're going to put in in a minute. And this is the secret of cutting back that really bitter taste from cabbage and spinach. Next you're going to want to have a bite or two from an apple. So I've already removed the bite, so let's throw it in now. Next we'll just throw in a small handful of frozen blueberries another bit of fruit that will knock off a little bit of that bitter vegetable taste. And it looks like we're getting real close to start loading this thing up with vegetables. The next thing we're going to add is a stick of celery. And if you have a little bit of magical powers, you can have it lift out. Or simply reach in and pull it out. This next part might be the most dangerous. Don't try this at home. You're going to need a half a carrot. Next, you want to add an inch or two of zucchini or squash. This is how I like to put them in. More of the poker chip way. You're going to want to add just a small slice of avocado. And while I'm cutting this open, I will just let you know that one of the cool things about this drink is that you're not cooking these vegetables. So they're very, very fresh, easy for your body to digest. Now besides just a small piece of avocado, you're going to want to have a little bit of tomato as well. Now if you can come across these little guys, it's perfect for one drink, or get a small tomato and cut it in half. So there's our tomato, and then just one nice little slice of avocado. Perfect. You're also going to need a little bit of cucumber. Now remember, the green is a cucumber, the pink is you. So be careful if you're doing anything fancy in the kitchen. For me, the amazing part is how much cabbage and spinach I'm going to be able to eat because I can't stand this stuff when it's cooked. So once again, just pull off a small section of cabbage and a huge handful of spinach. Just get a, a gigantic amount. Just fill that blender right up. And you'll be amazed at how this is just going to blend down to nothing when we're done. A lot of spinach. Here's a good chance to get some rainbow shard or some kale into your drink. If you want to add a small kick to it, I suggest throwing in a piece of very hot jalapeno. And I would include the seeds and all. So just one or two slices of this and, and you're good to go. Be careful how you handle the hot pepper. You don't want to touch your eyes afterwards. Next we're going to add a slice of bell pepper. And you might want to add a little bit of juice as well. I like to add pomegranate juice. Perfect. And we'll add our bell pepper. A small slice. Give it a nice little 
veggie taste. Perfect. Now I added pomegranate juice. Make sure it's pure juice no matter what you add. Make sure it's not full of artificial sugars and flavors and colors and things along those lines. Last but not least is some frozen pineapple. Just a couple sections will do. And what's cool about blending these kind of drinks is you include everything, even the core of the pineapple, seeds in your fruit, the whole thing. Just throw it in and blend the heck out of it. Now you won't be able to do this with a typical blender. You need a high speed, high powered blender. There's a large variety of drinks that I make. This is one of my favorites because it's loaded with lots of vegetables. You might want to add yourself a little bit of protein or some sort of powder. If that's your thing. Here we go. You might want to add a little bit of ice. I will mention that my blueberries and my pineapple was frozen, and I prefer to have that to be the frozen substance in my drink versus having to uh, you know, water it down with ice. This looks real good. Mmm, that's good. Well, I'm Rich Ferguson, and cheers to your health. I hope you try this magical drink.